All right, so I have one markdown file with Las Vegas sitting right here. And what I want to do is I want to create a card using Bootstrap slash React Bootstrap to give it more of a design approach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back into Visual Studio Code. I'm going to rearrange my code just a little bit so it looks a little more well, structured because right now it's kind of just sitting here without any actual structure on this website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a row. I'm gonna move this down, so just have a little more room to work with right here. I'm not gonna to touch the list at this point in time. I'm just gonna build a new section in this area. So after the UL, I'm just gonna say row. And in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the data back. So this data is gonna show back up. I'm gonna copy and paste, actually cut and paste right here, and bring this section in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in both a column and a card. Now I don't have the row or the column, so I'm gonna say row, call, and card in the React Bootstrap area. If I come down here in the row, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, oops, after this one, where does that open and close greater than less than symbol, I'm gonna say call LG equals four, which means this is a three column design, four times three is 12, for React Bootstrap slash Bootstrap Grid, I'm gonna say XS equals six to make a two column on the mobile framework. I'm gonna say key equals, and again, we're gonna bring back the ID, so node dot ID, and we're gonna close the call. And we're gonna bring all this stuff inside the column. So we'll cut and paste. Again, drop it in. We don't need this one any longer, so we'll take it out. And there we go, and drop this in. Now what I want to do next is, I'm just gonna test this to make sure this works. I'll save it, perfect. Now this one did shrink down a little bit because I'm gonna make a three column design. Now to see the three columns, I have to bring in more markdown files. So if we think about it, we've got the three areas of Las Vegas, Lima, Peru, and Vegas, or in Venice, excuse me. So I'll just make a separate folder, make sure I got the folder names and the file names all properly arranged content, travel locations. I'm gonna duplicate Las Vegas and say Lima-Peru. And in here, actually I can go back into my VS Code and I can go find, not in the source, but I can go up to the top and now bring in Lima-Peru and change this from Las Vegas to Lima-Peru. This is gonna start in September and finish in October. And you should see changing to so Las Vegas, Lima, Peru. And if we just change the file name from Las Vegas, Lima, Peru, we then can change this one right here. And we should have minus the .jpg, I forgot. Now we have Lima, Peru and Las Vegas. Let's bring in Venice. So let's then once again, duplicate the markdown file. And we'll just say Venice. I think everyone knows where Venice is. So we'll just keep it being just Venice. Venice it is. And we're going to say November. There we go. And to December. And we're going to change Lima, Peru back to the Venice. So we'll just cut and paste or copy and paste. And now what I have are three sections, Las Vegas, Lima, Peru, and Venice. So what I want to do is I want to then bring in a card design to this approach. We have our three columns and if we move it around, notice how it drops down to a two column below the large size. So if we look at the code, we said on the index file, the large and above go three column because 12 divided by four is three. And then below that for the mobile size and larger, this is when the excess still hangs around in bootstrap. We now have a six slash two column design going on right here. Move this up right here. And what I wanna do is I wanna bring in a card design. So in this way, what I'm gonna do is start at the top. In this case, I'm gonna say card. It's gonna give us our light gray around the area. And I'm gonna bring in the Gatsby image. So we'll bring in this one. I'll cut it. We know it works, so if I just cut and paste it, it's just gonna drop in right there. And for some reason, my spacing tabs did not line up perfectly. And using Bootstrap's class names, I'm gonna say class name, class name equals card img top. 
what that's going to do, oh, check it out, is magically create this kind of gray line around all the pictures. And we're going to add some more down below it. So what I'm going to do is below the picture, I'm going to add a card body. So I'm going to say card dot body. And in here, I'll say card dot title. And you guessed it, I'm going to bring in that location. So we'll bring the location in indent that in there. We'll take out the H2. And after the card title, I'm just going to add a paragraph tag. Actually, I can just cut and paste the paragraph tag and drop it down. And there we go. Now for me, this extra space at the bottom is due to the margin. So I like to do for my design, it's a little extra at the very end. But if I pull open that CSS file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say essentially card paragraph. So I'm going to say card body and then P last of type. There it is. And in there, I'm just going to say margin bottom, say zero. It's just minimal, but it just makes this nice clean line around all the sides. So again, what it did, if I pull this up a little higher, if I take it out just for a second, it just added this extra space below. And if I just say P last of type, it just cleans it up. That's all it is, just something minimal to be arranging in this case. Now, if you look at it, all my pictures are not perfectly aligned. These two are close, but this one's not close. I wanna make it absolutely perfect. We're gonna head back to GraphQL and make this a little extra cleanliness just to make sure they're all the same size. If we hadn't had, if we head into GraphQL, we can use an aspect ratio. And mine defaulted to 1.5. So if I save that, so far it worked pretty good, no error messages. I'm then gonna copy and paste this aspect ratio back into my project. So if I head back to the index file, if I scroll down the page, oh, I didn't need to bring them back to 600 as well. 600, 1.5, now just make sure we didn't mess it up at all. Perfect. So there we go. Now we have an aspect ratio of 1.5 and a width of 600. And just like that, now all the pictures are perfectly aligned based upon the aspect ratio. So it does do a little bit of cool transformation within GraphQL to pull the information for the pictures. And now they're all lined up successfully.